Well, this painting is important to my consciousness, shall we say, as an artist, because it represents a very important source of psychic phenomena. It is the, a painting of the mother goddess of the cemeteries, Brigitte, also an aspect of Ursuline, commonly known as Ursuline Scorpion. In other words, Ursuline in the sign of Scorpio, because Scorpio is the zodiacal sign for the Feast of the Dead. And what is amazing to me is the fact that on many, many occasions, when the room might be dark, I've come in and looked at the painting, and yet there was a beam of light, either from the dawn or from reflection on the street or from the moon or whatever it might be, but not produced within the apartment here or the salon of the face and upper hands of the mother goddess here, for she is the mother queen of the cemeteries. And what is significant about the magic is, with so many of my paintings, I've always felt they must have familiars. It goes back to my uh, traditional upbringing, which ha always had to have her familiar. So the queen of the witches has to have magnificent familiars. Her hands are raised in blessing, and it's all hieratic in the sense that I've tried to cover as much as possible with abstract elements, elements that reflect the multiplicity of energies that flow through her with this paste on paper, this type of fabulous reconstruction of her world as part of her attire. Some of this represents the chaos that embraces her arms as it surrounds the cemeteries, the tragedy. Here, we have multiplicities of tragedies caused by elements of weather, elements of war produced by the wills and imagination and anger of human beings. Here we have a surrounding her her agents. Here, especially, a feline face on a lizard or reptilian body suggests, with many faces embedded in the reptile skin, the complexity of human karma. Everybody wanting to do the right thing and everybody doing wrong things leading to their destruction. She herself in her face is ghost-like, at least I feel that has happened. And here, with her hands raised, and fire and blood pouring forth, we have in the background faces of guardians who protect her and who energize her. Her breasts represents the fullness of motherhood and the fullness of maternal protection, benevolence, love, and all the tender mercies and instinctual protections we find among all mammals for their offspring no matter how, how old or how emancipated from the, the crib, from the cradle, they seem to be. Here, I have 
written on her breast heretic charms which in primitive cultures individuals would touch for good luck as a blessing from the bounty of the mother goddess of the cemeteries who holds all the secrets of the dead and who so holds all of the riches of the human imagination that has long passed by. Here we have, in a sense, a complete index of magical instructions, the magic of attaining the wealth, the abundance of the mother's breasts, but also secrets of protection, protecting oneself as a gift from the goddess mother of the cemetery. Here, her hands raised welcoming and at the same time blessing as in the Asian mystery initiations and temples of Atlantis, Mesopotamia, Egypt, wherever, the welcoming blessing indicated that it was safe to proceed towards the image of the goddess. And here we have so many treasures embedded in her retinue, the retinue of her servers, her robes, even though she's bare-breasted, she is robed. Her crowning power, and yet the pallor, the pallor that is so noticeable in her face, the goddess, the veritable goddess of death, the mask of death. And at the same time, the nourishment of these breasts tipped in gold, tipped in gold, symbolizing the outpouring of the Jupiterian generosity of this goddess. For she does not say, go away, she says, come forth. Drink the milk of life the milk of the artistic imagination, whatever imagination you are seeking to do your art in, the placement of it, whatever place you are in, my blessing will come to you. And yet, do not forget my sorrow, my sadness, my suffering, because I come from the cemetery where so many have died and where so much suffering has been endured in the hearts and souls of those who are bereaved. Oh yes, this is the queen of the cemeteries, Brigitte. This is a construction of multimedia, but how great, how intense is the sorrow of her heart for all that this symbolizes. Thank you.